Sige. Uh, I'm Josefa Pizon. I am uh, the executive director of the Rural Development Institute, Leyte. Actually, I was also a trained uh, response action team by Christian Aid. Um, but I am um, I came from uh, Matalum, Leyte, which is about 90 kilometers from Ormoc City. Um, I was not in our place when it happened, but text messages and um, calls confirmed that most of the coastal houses from the coastal communities uh, from southern Leyte part going to the northern part and Ormoc City part are being gone, blown away by winds and some of the properties were damaged particularly in Ormoc City the terminal uh, was down um, some of the perennial fruit trees were also protected some of the houses of the upland farmer commu farming communities um, were affected including some of the livestock we've distributed their shed houses and agricultural um, crops were also damaged. Uh, who were the most affected? Most affected are those marginal uh, folks where their houses are made of light materials. They have no access um, in terms of where to vacate immediately because despite the Despite the call of the local government units to evacuate, uh, they are there are still uh, did not um, expect that it was that kind of strong wind that will really damage their uh, perennial and root crops. Okay. <clears throat> What's the situation in terms of um, transportation and communication? Um, immediately after the landfall of the typhoon Yolanda, the communication line. Uh, was already down in Ormoc City. That's why we could not immediately connect what happened there. But in terms of uh, accessibility, road accessibility, some of the um, posts and some of the trees that were um, that were hit or that were affected uh, made the road uh, unpassable. Those areas are uh, going to or Moktotakloban are landslide prone areas and there are also floods. That's why it's difficult to transport or even to pass going there. So as of now, the only means of transportation is uh, by motorcycle. But there are still areas where it could not pass because some are still uh, having the debris that need to be cleared. What, what do you know right now regarding your office? Uh, based on a uh, text message which I was not able to um, inquire for there because they were already not um, accessible so our office was a uh, portion of the roofing of our office was opened and that's why all of our documents were wet and in terms of my rented house in our mock city portion are also uh, opened of the roofing are opened that's why uh, since uh, November 5. I don't know what happened now because I don't have contact there, but they said that our things are also wet, including some of the clothing and some of um, the neighbors' uh, properties were also damaged. Uh, they said that um, if I will get home, I could no longer um, I could no longer compare, I could no longer Uh, they said that I could no longer distinguish it is it's uh, the place I live because some of the houses were uh, being um, affected and destroyed severely destroyed despite is being uh, located in a low lying portion so initially I thought that the only the coastal communities were affected but when the text messages came um, it was really from the low-lying, the coastal areas to the low-lying areas and going to the upland areas where it's not, supposedly it's not uh, um, severely affected, but it's really affected. What do you think are the most uh, immediate needs right now? Because some of, most of the damages are the roofings of the 
uh, partner communities or the residents, most of the clothing are wet. Food is uh, still um, scarce. Um, some of the properties were damaged. Uh, water is needed because um, some of the facilities also, even at the upland level, are affected. Paalam na kayo. Sabihin niyo lang. Ah. You have to I go. hope that with the current situation, um, our helping hands is still open for our areas in Region 8. Those uh, mentioned are only part of those affected.